Okay, this is day one of Tree and I's personal vlog series where I'm gonna vlog one day, Tree's gonna vlog the next day, and we're gonna document the next seven days in our life in that way. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think it'll be easier because sometimes when we try to like coordinate filming together, we're like, oh, film this, blah, blah, blah. Like I, I'm excited to just like carry the camera around with me all day and show me life. Astro kids and their journey to the fifth dimension. We are at the garden and staying in the dirt church, which tree just fixed up. We just got these solar string lights yesterday. So we're excited about that. And we got this bug net so we can kind of like leave it partially open. Da -da -da. Tree has been doing some decorating. We have our shelf that I might remake today because we made it with wet wood and it's starting to droop and things are slipping off. So I might make a sturdier one. We tried to set it up so that people would want to hang out here so people can sit there and there. We made the bed high up. I finally have a spot for all my essential oils, which is exciting. And yeah, a little messy, but our cute little simple tiny house oh also when we were just in Colorado we got this from the Dreamweaver Sanctuary which is like these awesome like handmade little shags that um, this lady Jody we met makes out of like clothing she's not gonna use anymore so it's kind of like the perfect little partial shade um, the day might hold me making some jam because it's berry season and there's a ton of berries at the garden right now and I'm thinking about how over the winter that we spent here it was really cool when we got to use canned food and be like woohoo this was from uh, you know when you know when things were blossoming in the summer and we could still have like food from the garden over the winter so I now on the summer mission I kind of want to like can as much stuff as possible so that whoever's here in the winter can have that experience. Um, so we've made like five jars of jam. Um, and it's cool, actually, the, the berries are from the neighbor's yard. And he just has like so many of these black capped raspberry bushes that he's like, take as many as you want. So we like keep going, taking them, taking them, taking them. And we made like five jars of jam. So I'm also going to give him one of those jars today. So I'm excited about that because he's a sweetie. And yeah. And our other project is a screened in porch for the sides. So we can sit and watch the sunset from the dirt church. But we're kind of paused because I kind of knew these cedar posts wouldn't be strong enough. And I was like, eh, it's probably fine. And now here we are digging them into the ground and I can just kind of tell they're not strong enough to hold up the porch, um, which means we have to char more, which means we have to do a bonfire tonight. So that project's kind of paused until we have a bonfire and can char some more cedar posts that are stronger and then we can continue with the porch project. Or maybe we'll work around it, I don't know, because we were pretty excited. We we're like, we can do it in one day. And obviously, it never works that way. But triple berry cinnamon jam to the office and I'll put it in there and whenever somebody sees the neighbor, they can deliver it to him. So here we are in the office. Very messy, all over the place. So I'm gonna work on cleaning it up. Tree works on seen before from this man named Charlie in Wisconsin who sent us a whole copy of each of the books in his trilogy about how we might save humanity and just giving us support after everything that happened with Vice and telling us that he supports the vision. He's also trying to create an intentional community in New Mexico and um, yeah, don't lose sight of your vitally necessary timely and noble goals. Somewhat cleaned up the 
office, discovered lots of new things, such as this hoover that we can use, these cool books, and lots of stuff to go to the tool shed, and books, and yet to see Ron. So I dropped off some books from the office into the library, and I found this book called Guitar Chords. And it's cool, it kind of like goes more in depth about like each key and breaking it down. And yeah, I'm trying to move past basic chords on my guitar. So I'm gonna put this in the dirt church and then since I don't have internet there, I can still learn more guitar from this book. Here I go, a day in the life. So in cleaning the office, I found these chains that are for a kid's swing, but there's no swing seat there. And I don't know how long they've been there. So pretty much anything I find that I think of something that I could use it for, I'm just gonna do it because so much stuff is just laying around. Um, so I'm gonna try to use it to make a fold down shelf in the dirt church that folds off the side of the wall. So right here is where I'm thinking. I have my essential oils here, so I've got a little shelf here. We wouldn't want it to be down all the time because then it could mess up this couch. You wouldn't be able to sit here, but if it can fold up against the wall and then when it folds out, those chains can keep it from folding all the way down. Um, so I pretty much think I have everything I need. I have a hinge, I have the chains, and if I need anything else, I will figure that out on the way. So I'm gonna go get some wood, bring it over here because I've got all my tools already over here. So yay, I'm just make it all right here. So I'm doing 38 by 15, 8 inches long, so that'll be 16, but I think that's fine if I just cut this and use it twice. And yeah, I think I'm just going to drag this board back and make it all out of that. This looks like a nice strong piece of pallet wood for my support beams. Just going to knock these nails out. Okay awkward position to cut wood, but here I go. And I can't find the electric sander, so I'm just going to use one of these little loops. So we are looking good. This is the underside of my little shelf. Flip them over, screw them in. I'm gonna take it off the table, go all the way through. And then I can break off the other side of the screws on the other side. So I don't have the drill bit for the other size of screws. And I don't feel like walking back to the tool shed, so we're going to do a half nail, half screw. So now I can see how it fits on the wall. Looks good to me. Hold up like this. Yay. It looks nice. And now I'm baby sitting. So a tree is assisting me so that the show may go on. Yep, I attached these little blocks on the bottom so that I can screw this into there and keep the chain on like that. Look, you see yourself? Yay! Oh, I didn't have the right hinge for the shelf. 
shelf uh, because it won't fold all the way. So it's important that it goes all the way up against the wall so that when you're sitting on the couch, it's not a falling face. And I don't have that hinge, so I have paused on the shelf. And now I'm helping Tree make it. Doing a lentil doll with tomatoes and carrots and onions. Yeah, we're making a doll. Yeah, we're making a doll. Yeah.